announced a new study about the long-term health impacts of not getting enough sleep. Experts say if you're getting less than five hours a night, you could be at risk. Yeah, we are definitely listening to this because we do not get the most right. sleep. Dr. John White is the chief medical officer for WebMD, and he joins us to explain the importance of quality sleep. Doctor, good morning. Thank you so much for being with us again. Good morning and happy Halloween to everyone. Happy Halloween. So, Dr. White, um, tell us about the latest study and the health impact on those who are not getting enough sleep like us. Well, I always tell patients, if you're having trouble sleeping, you need to talk to the doctor about it because it could be a sign of a more serious condition. It could be heart disease, thyroid disease, diabetes, even, even cancer. So it's always important to talk about it to your doctor. What we're seeing is there's several hormones that are related to our sleep, cortisol, melatonin, orexin, doesn't matter to know the names, but when they get out of whack, it often causes health problems. So if you're having trouble with sleeping, that could mean something else is going on. All right, yeah, and doctor, let's talk a little bit about quality versus quantity when it comes to sleep. And can you catch up on the weekend? I know a lot of people will say, hey, I'll, uh, I'll sleep in on the weekend and I'm good. Is that, I know. Does that we, work? All, we all think there's a sleep bank, right? That we put in <laughs> some hours extra, the other times we take it out. There isn't, and, and you really, can't catch up on sleep. Now, I'll tell you, it's really over time, the quality of your sleep is what matters. And by that, I mean, you can have one, you know, night or, or two nights every now and then that's a bad night's sleep. That's not going to bother you. But if you're having it most days of the week, then that's where we start to get concerned. But quality and quantity, they both matter, but quality probably matters a little more. That makes sense, but it's good to know that you can have a night or two with, without yeah. the best sleep, especially on Halloween, because a lot of people will be staying up Absolutely. a little later than yeah, usual you'll be going tonight. Yeah, with your little and we yeah. should. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> and so, and what are some of the do's and don'ts before going to bed? We know there are a lot of bad habits that people have that are not helping with their sleep. The, the first thing I have to say is caffeine. Now it's early, so I'm having caffeine this morning, but you want to stop four to six hours before your bedtime. So if you're going to bed at 10 p.m., you wanna stop probably around four or five at the latest six. Now I'll tell you, even when you order decaf, sometimes that still has a little caffeine. So you wanna be careful about that. You know, we all talk about exercise being important. We want you to get those steps in, but I don't want you exercising two to three hours before bedtime because that's gonna rev you up. Um, you know, the, the issue of a lot of times we're checking our emails late at night or we get in an argument with a spouse. Since when do arguments or emails make you more relaxed, right? You want to be relaxed before you go to sleep. So that's a problem, too. And, and then and, my other quick tip oh yeah, is, go, sorry, go ahead. Oh, yeah, real quick, talking a little bit about split sleep. How does that work? Because I know, you know, a lot of people here, they split their sleep. Is that healthy is, if we're getting the REM cycles that we need? That's right. If you're getting that, you know, the REM, the deep sleep, that helps. It's, I'm going to be honest, it's not ideal because you really want that length of sleep that's uninterrupted. But we all have, you know, our, our smart jewelry that we can check our sleep scores. Now, don't get obsessed with your sleep score. If you had a bad sleep night, that doesn't mean you're going to have a bad day. But you want to be looking at that over time and trying to maximize the amount in one setting. All right, Chris is just looking for a little validation. For the easier said sleep. than done, but yes. Yeah, yeah. Dr. It is easier said. Yeah. Exactly. All right, Dr. White, very helpful information. Thank you so much for being with us, and enjoy your Halloween. Always good seeing you. Thanks. Yeah, you too. Thanks, Doctor. All right, speaking.